Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've built this WooCommerce shop site here. Um, this is part of a course we did online if you want to take the course. I've got a discount coupon below this video if you want to learn how to build this particular site. We used a, a free template and a free WordPress build to build this site here. It's a clothing store with all kind of different things and accessories and bits and pieces. What we're going to do in this series of video, we're going to install a plugin called Elementor, which will allow us to build extra pages. We've got plenty of pages on here. But what it's going to do is allow us to build real custom style pages. So follow along with this series and we'll show you how to build some great things using the Elementor plugin. Okay, so what we're going to do in this video, we created a little section with a hovering image that links to our bags page and another little section and a button that also links there. Let's actually copy this whole section, duplicate it, change the image out and the text obviously, and we'll give it an image background, a full width image background. So let's do that. So here's the when you hover over it, you're going to see these little blue tabs in the middle. The blue one is for the, in the middle is for the section that I'm hovering over here. And each module has its own little one in, inside there. And the dark ones are for the actual columns for the row. So we want the whole section. So I want to duplicate the whole section. So I'm going to right click on this tab here. It doesn't matter which little tab of this blue tab you're on. You just want to right click, hit duplicate. There we go, and we've got a perfect copy underneath. Okay, well that's it for this video. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is we'll swap these around. So all I'm going to do is left click. I've got my cursor over it. I'm going to left click, hold a mouse down, pull it over to this side. There it is. And I'm going to do the opposite with this one. I'm going to left click, hold my mouse down, I'll put it over to this side. And we'll put that button underneath as well. There we go. And let's choose a different image. So just click on there. It'll take us to it. Um, so I'm going to click on here to choose a different image. I'm going to leave all the styles as is. We'll still have that hover style. Let's go for, I guess, some shoes this time. The hover styles that we created for the module saturation up there and contrast we all have on this image as well as you can see that's great of course we want to link this to our shoe section so let's go to our site i've got the site up here on another tab here's our shoes i'm going to right click and hit copy link address i'm using google chrome here now, here's the link. I can simply just paste this one straight in there. OK, so that's our image done. Now we just need to change out a bit of our text here. So I'll click on here. Um, And then we just need to click on our button here and update the link that we want it to go to, which will be the same as the one for the shoes there. We'll just paste that in there. Okay, let's update that. So now our button and our image will take visitors to the shoe page. All right, well, let's put an image behind this section. It's going to confuse it a bit, but I'm going to kind of blend it into the background a little bit. So if we click on our section tab here, 
Here we to style. Actually, what I want to do is I want to click on layout one more time. There's a little button right at the top. I'm going to say stretch section. That'll make it full width. But if you look inside, the contents within are still boxed, so they'll still only have a width of from here to here. But when we apply an image or a color to the background, it will be full width. So let's do that. Let's do an image. Go to style. We're going to go to background. Hit the little brush one for normal. And you can add an image. And again, I'll select one of our longer sort of slider images that we had on the front page yeah now that immediately looks makes it look very confusing so what I want to do is a I don't want it to repeat so we'll say background position is fine where it is but I just don't want it to repeat so repeat no repeat I want it to cover the whole of the background I'll deal with those in a minute I'll show you a couple of effects we can do with those the size I want it to cover the background fantastic I mean that's great and everything like that but of course we can't read our writing here and although our image is there it kind of doesn't look fantastic so what I want to do is I want to give this background a white overlay and kind of fade it out into the background so let's do that I'm going to go down to back background overlay and hit the little brush here I'm going to give it just a white color color of white there we go and just below the image I just clicked to close that up so we've got our white color I'm gonna bring the opacity or opacity up so we can read that right and really well and the image is just sort of faintly in the background something like that that looks a bit better to me so you get the feeling of these things in the background yet you can see everything in the front fine so that works for me I'll just leave the opacity or opacity right there however you like to set don't need a border don't need to change the typography I think we're good to go let's update and we'll preview our changes and what I'll do is I'll show you something with that fixed background image in a moment so let's preview our changes There's our first row and there's our second row with those faint images behind there. And what I wanted to show you was that the background. If we click on this image again, or we're already on the background here for our section. Go to our background tab. Go down to our, our attachment. If we make it fixed when I scroll up the page the actual background image will stay in the same place that's an interesting little effect I'm not sure if I want it I'll just save it I'll update and save and we'll preview it in real time so you can see the whole page but it's a great little effect to use like I say I'm not sure if it'll be appropriate on this page or not you see the background image when we scrolled up and down the page is actually moving behind there like I say, I'm not sure if I want that there or not. I guess it's okay. I think I'll leave it. So there you have it. That is how to copy a section and add a full width background image to it. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some great premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.